The main reason for having purpose in life is so that you can focus your energy towards one thing and it doesn't get distracted. When you know what you want, you know what you don't want. Finding your purpose does not have to be hard. If I could spend my life doing something, what do I really love doing? Rise and shine, it's espresso time. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and this channel was created to help you overcome the number one challenge that is holding you back, a lack of belief in yourself. You watch these videos because you know there's something more inside you too. You have Michael Jordan level talent at something. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message from Don Dapani. Also, if you want to have more motivation, self-love, and confidence, check out my 254 series. They're free. The links to join are in the description below. The quality of your life is essentially determined by how you carry this one. Yes or no? No one on planet Earth can stop you from accomplishing and achieving what you want. I'd say in general, most people aren't happy because they don't know what their purpose in life is. Mm -hmm. And that's something I get quite often, that people come up with me with a lack of clarity on what they want to do in their life. Yeah. It's really interesting, I was sitting with a group of entrepreneurs having, when I was traveling around the world recently, and after my event they took me out to dinner, mm -hmm. and I was sitting with four guys at a table having had dinner, and we were having a glass of wine, and I just asked the question, what's your purpose in life? Yeah. And nobody could answer me. All entrepreneurs? Yeah. All four of them, nobody can answer me. What's your purpose in life? So is there a way we can find our purpose in some way? I know it's a hard question. Yeah, no, I mean, there, there are ways, unfortunately, I can't squeeze it into a video. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I think one of the questions I get often asked back when I ask that question is, do you even need a purpose in life? You know, we, every day we have a goal, we, I mean, you go to the bathroom, there's a purpose, right? <laughs> you just don't walk to the bathroom and go, I'm not sure why I'm here. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> You go to the kitchen, there's a purpose because you want to eat something or drink something or yeah. cook or something. Yeah. So our day is full with some purpose or another, so it's great to have purpose in life. The main reason for having purpose in life is so that you can focus your energy towards one thing and it doesn't get distracted. When you know what you want, you know what you don't want. Yeah, okay. And that's a, the greatest gift because then you can say no very easily. You know what kind of guy to say no to if you're dating, what yeah. kind of girl to say no to. Because yeah. you just know this is not what I want. Most people say yes to everything and everyone in their life because they don't know what they want. So figuring out your purpose is really, really important. And I would say to even begin that process, spend five minutes a day with yourself every day in yeah. silent reflection. Yeah. That would be a, a great way to start. Find a quiet spot in your house sit down for five minutes and just no phones, no books, no notepads, nothing. Just you and ask yourself what do you want in life. Finding your purpose does not have to be hard. It doesn't have to require years of meditation and thousands of dollars. It's accessible and available to you right here, right now, and I'm gonna give you the three-step process to find it in this video. I'm just gonna dive in. Let's go. Step one is your who. If you want to figure out your purpose, you need to figure out what you stand for as a human. I brought a whole book on it. It's here. It's called Your One Word. It's about finding your most important core value. Who are you? When you understand what your single most important core value is, everything else becomes so much easier. So for me, it's belief, right? Belief is my single most important core value. How does that help? Well, with every decision that I make, it's seen through the lens of belief. Every video content that I make is about belief. It has to be. Every interaction I have, every workshop, every book, every meeting, all of it has to be run through the belief framework, right? The glasses of belief. If I'm hiring somebody onto my team, skills alone aren't enough. It's great that you can write copy. Do you believe in entrepreneurs? It's a big difference. So when you understand your core value, everything else becomes clearer and you're less likely to follow what other people want you to do. Everybody around you, they have a goal for you even if it's well-intentioned. They have opinions on what you should do with your life. Everybody around you, this is what you should do with your life. Everybody has an opinion. You don't know which way to go. If you don't know which way to go, it's because you don't know what you stand for, because you're standing on quicksand. But when you understand your one word, your who, your most important core value, 
It's like you're standing on a rock that nobody can push you from. So how do you figure that out quickly, right? I mean, this is 200 something pages. Let's boil it down super quick for you. You wanna think about all the people that you love, your favorite teacher, what you loved about your parents. Think about your favorite musician, your favorite band, your favorite song, your favorite movie, your favorite book, all, the, all your favorite things. The thing that when you are around, consuming it, reading it, being with them, it makes you feel bold, alive, amazing, confident, unstoppable, right? We've all had those moments. It's just not consistent enough yet. We're gonna make it for you. It's just not consistent enough yet. And so write down a list of five to 10 things that make you come alive. Again, people, your favorite teacher, movies, all of those things that make you, that you love, that you love, like you could get lost spending time with them or reading them or listening to them. Then write down three keywords that describe each of them. So your favorite teacher, why did you love Mr. Jones? It's not because he taught you grade four math, right? There was something else about Mr. Jones that you love. Why do I love Seabiscuit, the movie? Because it's about an oversized jockey and an undersized horse and an owner that has no money and all of these things and they all come together. It's believe, right? My parents taught me that I'm Evan Castrilli Carmichael and I can do anything that I believe that I can, right? And so through all the things that I love, believe is the common thread. What is it for you? You have to figure it out. You have to figure it out. It doesn't have to take you years of work. Just write down all of the people and the things that you love, three keywords for each, like do this. This is important. Just do it today. It'll make a huge difference in your life. It's worth it. This is the best 15 minutes you can spend in your life. Do it. <laughs> Pause the video and do it. And then just see what comes up consistently. What word comes up over and over and over and over and over and over again. Chances are that's your one word. That's your who. Then when you discover it, you have to start living that life. So, you know, if my one word is believe, then I got to think, okay, who around me is not believe? What am I doing that is not believe? What projects am I working on that are not believe? And it gives you clarity and forces some tough decisions. And the more unhappy you are right now in your life or business is because you are out of alignment with your one word. If I was doing something that was anti-believe, if it even if it made tons of money, I'm not gonna be happy because it's against who I am. It's against my core value. Same thing for you. If you are unhappy, it's because you are doing things that don't align well with your core value and you don't know what your core value is. So fix it, do the exercise. Don't watch step number two until you've done step number one. Step number two is your why. So first was who, next is why. Your why is your purpose. Your purpose comes from your pain. The thing that you struggled with the most as a human, right? Purpose from pain. The thing you struggled with the most as a human is the thing that you want to help other people with for life. I love helping entrepreneurs. I can, I can believe in anybody. I believe in people. I believe everybody has Michael Jordan level talent, right? I, I believe, but I believe in entrepreneurs a lot more. Why? Because I struggled so much as an entrepreneur because I was making 300 bucks a month and not able to survive and doubting myself and feeling worthless as a human being, right? That was me. I remember when I was 19, building up my first company. And so now my purpose is to help other people who currently feel that way. And I love helping more successful entrepreneurs. It's fine. It's great helping people who have a million or 10 million or, or even more in sales, but I'm still super connected to this, to the early stage, to the startup, to the person who feels not good enough, that they're not going to make it because that's, that's where I struggled. That's who I was. And so whatever you struggled with, you struggled, you've gone through some pain, whatever the most painful moment was in your life, not physical pain, emotional pain, emotional struggle, feeling worthless. When did you feel the most worthless as a human being? <laughs> the point of this isn't to inflict pain and make you feel terrible. The point is that what, whatever that moment was, there are currently, there are currently tons of people who are going through the same thing. There are, there are right now, right now, many people around the world who are going through the exact same thing that you went through. Even if you're not done climbing out of the hole, you're further ahead than where you were. Your purpose, for the rest of your life is to help other people who currently are what you used to be. I had a, a DM from a woman on Instagram who said, the only thing that made me come alive was a thing that destroyed my life. The only time I felt exhilarating was, it was doing something that then destroyed my life. And so she feels lost and, and no purpose. There's something better. The high that you got from doing the thing that destroyed your life, there's a better high. The better high is helping people who are currently destroying their life with the same thing that you went through. That's fulfillment. Helping people get out of the hole who are exactly like you. That's fulfillment. It'll, it'll fill you up to a level I can't even explain. You'll feel so much love and explosion inside you. It's like, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And people are built to serve. 
you want to help people. It's hardwired into us, right? It hits the same part of the brain as food and sex. You want to serve. But how do you serve? The people who you'll serve the most and feel the most lit up with are the people who currently are who you used to be. And step number three is how. So who, why, then how. Step number three is how. How you got out of the problem that you were in, the big hole that you were in. How did you get out? Again, even if you're not totally done getting out. And by the way, you're never done getting out. My biggest strength is belief and my biggest weakness is belief. The biggest reason why I'm not further ahead of where I should be right now is because of lack of belief in myself. It's my greatest strength. I believe in myself way more than I did when I was 19 or 13 or 12 or you know 28, all of it. But if 78 year old Evan came back to talk to this version of Evan right now, say your biggest problem is you not believe in yourself enough. It's a lifelong game. It's a lifelong journey. It's great. You don't want it to end. You want to grow forever. But every time you grow, every time you learn, every time you get better, you have a responsibility, a duty, the service to reach back and help other people climb up one more step. You take another step up, you pull somebody with you. You pull somebody else with you. You pull somebody else with you. That's the process. How you got out, how you saved yourself. Again, even if you're not done, but how you got better than where you used to be isn't some random fluke. There's a lot of people who never figure it out. The method, the way that you got out is teachable. You can help others. You can show them the path. You represent hope that it's possible. And so for me, it was modeling success, right? The thing that saved my business was modeling success, modeling what Bill Gates did to build Microsoft. And so what have I done for the past 20 years is just model success, just find other people who've been doing it. And I learn and I get better and I share that with you guys. So hopefully you can learn from people like Don Dapani. You can learn from all the people that I profile on my various channels, because I want to give the gift to you as well. I'm learning, I'm getting better, and hopefully you are as well. So your how is teachable. Most people think their how is just some random thing that just happened to them and super specific and, and they can't help. No, 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 no. What you did is a recipe and that can save many other people as well. That's the process. That's how you find your purpose. Who I have, go through it. I wrote a new book. It's called Built to Serve. I'm going on tour. The links we'll put down in the description below if you want to pre-order the book or join me on tour. But it's one of the most important things that I think people need. It's the most common question I get asked. How do I find my passion? How do I find my purpose? This is it. Go through the process. Buy the book if you want to, but go through the process. It does not have to take years of contemplating and thinking. It doesn't have to take thousands and thousands of dollars to sit down with somebody to help you figure it out. That's the process. Go through it. It doesn't have to be hard. It's very simple. The most powerful things in the world are simple. This is your simple truth. And when you discover it, it's so powerful. It, it's so overwhelming sometimes the gift that you could give to the world, that that becomes your duty, your obligation. You are built to serve. You have a powerful message, a powerful mission, and I want you to discover it. Discover your Michael Jordan level talent. Save the world. Let's do it together. Now I have a really special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy, but before that, question of the day, I wanna know, what was the most painful moment of your life? Who are the people that you wanna help? Share it down in the comments below. And if you made it this far in a video, you're still watching, I wanna celebrate you. Give me a hashtag, believe in the comments as well. I don't think you determine what your purpose is. I think you discover what your purpose is. There's a difference. Determining indicates deciding. Um, and I don't think you decide. I think if you go about it the right way, you discover it. Like there's some people that should be painting all day. They're great artists. I think Michelangelo was obviously a great artist, a great sculptor. I mean, that was his purpose in his life. Well, I believe my purpose is doing what I'm doing. Your purpose is why you get out of bed in the morning. Do you know why you get up? Well, most people say, well, it's to go to work. Well, that'd be a good reason to stay in bed, you know. You say, well, everybody's doing it. That would be another reason to stay in bed. If you're ever doing what everybody's doing, you're probably going in the wrong direction. Your purpose is your reason for living. What you want to do is sit down and maybe take a pen and a pad and then ask yourself, what do I really love doing? Now, you may have to spend a while at this. You might get up an hour early every morning and... Go sit under a tree somewhere if you're in a nice climate. Or pick a favorite chair. Some place where you're not going to be disturbed. And totally relax. And say, if I could spend my life doing something 
What do I really love doing? Now, since you don't ask yourself that question every day, it might take a while for this answer to come to the surface. But it comes to your consciousness. And it may take a while. You may have to do this every morning for three months. But it would be well invested, the time. If you want to know why you should spend more time with yourself with Don Dapani, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. All I say to people is spend five minutes with yourself every morning. But people say they don't have time. But then if their friend calls them up and say, hey, do you want to go out for dinner? They'll say, sure, let's go out for dinner.